Hello and welcome to Hearthus Gaming. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get started with Medieval Engineers. Now this will be helpful for any kind of new servers you join, even solo play. But this is only going to cover the basics, alright? Let's go ahead and jump into our first world. And while this is loading, I'm going to kind of cover a few of the things I'm going to be doing today. One, I'm going to be showing you how to gather and create your first tool. Now this might be pretty obvious for some people, but part of this beginning tutorial is going to include this more uh, uh, forward stuff. Uh, I'm also going to show you how to gather basic food, uh, start building a basic structure, you know, just the necessities for your first, you know, half hour in this game. Alright, so starting off in this world, let's just go ahead and come down here to this road. On a PvP server, you might not want to stick close to a road, but it's going to save you some headaches, I promise. So, we've got to make our first tool, which is going to be the weapons. Sorry, not weapons, the axe, <laughs> which can also be used as a weapon. And that requires some sticks and stone. Now, sticks can be easily gathered from these small trees around here. There's two different types. There's this one, and this more skinny, less foliated tree, or foliage tree. Also, while you're in the forest, keep an eye out for berries. This is going to be your basic food supply, and actually it'll help you out later in the game as well. Because you never know when you're going to need some uh, food in a hurry when your food's not available, like crops and such. Mushrooms also work. They tend to be in the forests as well. Let's see here. Ah, here's some berries. You can normally get two sets of berries out of them. And they tend to be very plentiful as well. Let's see. Yeah, we got some more over here. Let's find one more set of berries. There we go. All right, so we got some food. We got some sticks. And even got some mushrooms. What we need to do now is find a stone. Now, you can find stone anywhere inside these forested areas. But if you're in a hurry and you're looking to do some traveling while you're looking, just stick to the road. Because you will find stone very obvious on the road, like right up ahead. That's going to be all you need to get started. All right, so hitting I brings up our inventory and crafting menu. And we're going to go ahead and knock out that stone axe. All right. Thank you very much. Wow. Dangerous. Anyways, uh, next. Got to make a crafting table. Now for that, we need logs. So any random tree will do. It's very important, though. That when this tree starts to fall, you take a step back. And you don't not want to be underneath this tree. Uh, due to the physics in the game, these things sometimes can just start spinning like a top. It, it's really quite crazy to watch. And if it touches you, it will kill you. Sending you somewhere randomly on the map that, you know, pretty much makes you start over from scratch again. So, let's go ahead and chop this puppy up. It should take only about four swings per section. Sometimes five. All right puppy here too. Be careful not to uh, swing after it's fallen off. Because if you hit a log a fifth time, it'll turn into sticks. And if you hit the branches here, whoop, <laughs> it'll destroy them completely. Alright. So we got everything we need for a crafting table. Let's go ahead and open that up. We're going to craft our table. I'm just going to go ahead and put it right down here on the road. Cause, ah, I want to make sure real quick, though. Yeah, this will be a nice little starting spot. See, I'm just making a basic temporary structure. This isn't anything special. Uh, I'm definitely going to be moving later on. At least that's my plan. You may have different plans. In which case, you might want to gather down, walk down further, gathering more resources, looking for a larger flat piece of land. Alright, so, the first thing you should always craft after the crafting table is a bed. The whole purpose of this is if you die now, again, you're going to be sent somewhere random. You're going to lose all your stuff, and you don't want that. With the bed, you'll have a respawn point. <clears throat> Clicking it will tell you what you need. In this case, you need four timbers. So X out of that crafting bench, go into your own inventory, and let's go ahead and craft some timbers. I'm going to craft a little extra for our next project. <clears throat> Alright, now, we have here 
our crafting bench, and we have the timbers we need. So, here's what you have to do. Uh, unlike a lot of games, you can't just craft from your inventory. You actually have to take it into the object you're using to build it. So, dragging it into the crafting table down here at the bottom allows us to craft this bed. I said craft like ten times in one sentence. That's terrible. Alright, let's go ahead and put this puppy down again temporarily. Once placed, be sure to claim it. Defeats the purpose if you don't claim it. Alright, and there's that. Now, now comes the fun part. You should build a home. <laughs> Let's go ahead and build a home. Now, to bring up your building menu, hit G. You'll come up with this toolbar configuration. Now, here's your wooden pieces. More research can lead to stone and hardened stone, that sort of thing. But starting off, this is what you need. So, we're going to go for a wooden support. This is like your foundation. Now, I'm not going to go too in-depth with this because I have a second video, which I'll actually I'll link below, that actually gives you a step-by-step -step on building your basic house. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and start working on it while you guys watch, and then I'm going to skip ahead to the very end where I'm going to be showing off my house. All right? Let's go ahead and get started. Now, to make wooden supports for your foundation, of course, it tells you what you need over here. You've got timber and wooden sticks. All right, we got that down on number five. But I know I'm going to need more logs. Oh, well, let's go ahead and just kind of lay out what we can. Da, 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 da. This looks like a good spot. I'm going to make a basic 3x3 three three building, just like in my video. And we're back. Got ourselves a nice little basic house, basic structure. I'm 
All right. I went ahead and I made a crafting bench and a storage chest to kind of make it a little easier for me. Of course, I've already shown you how to make the crafting table. That storage chest, I guess I should have shown you a step by step for that. But it can be made using the crafting table and it only requires two timbers. Now, it doesn't hold a whole lot, less than your personal inventory. But when first starting off, that definitely helps. You can also use the actual crafting table as a storage chest in a pinch. But, you know, you get more bang for your buck if you uh, make a small chest instead. Alright, now. <laughs> Gotta go ahead and put a bed in here, too. Let me chop up this wood real quick. I had to clean out some of my inventory. It was getting full. Go on, chop, 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 chop. I'll be happy when they put the uh, bots back in. They used to actually have servants or serfs that would actually perform tasks for you. It was a little buggy, but it was a really nice idea, and I wish that they hadn't have taken them out and instead just went ahead and fixed them. some more timbers. Oh no, actually I already have enough freaking timbers. What am I thinking here? Make that bed. That's right, gotta put my inventory first. Alright, while well, I'm also at it, I'm gonna go ahead and make eight timbers for this research table. That's gonna be very important because that's how you craft everything else. Ah, right, come on. Drop that temporarily. the bed over here. Come on. All right. Got a research table. Stick that in this little corner over here. And here you go. This is what you need to first get started. Sadly, I can't put a door on here. The doors required metal, which we haven't gotten just yet. But for starting off, this will at least give you some kind of safe haven for the barbarians that are coming around. And at first glance, people might leave you alone or should leave you alone. But like I said, this is a temporary structure. Oh, i got to eat. All right, well, that's it for today. Just want to show you how to get started on a server. If you guys have any questions or you have any requests for actual mechanics you want me want to explain or want me to do a video on, please feel free to comment down below. Uh, I'm very active with my commenters. All you gotta do is send me a message. All right, thanks everyone for coming, and I'll see you next time.